understanding, get in the mood. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting English phrase, get in the mood. This phrase is commonly used in everyday conversations, and understanding its nuances can really help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's dive in and learn all about it. Get in the mood refers to the process of developing a specific emotional or mental state. It's about preparing oneself to feel a certain way, often for a specific activity or event. For example, if someone says, I'm trying to get in the mood to study, it means they are attempting to feel more focused and ready to learn. This phrase can be used in various contexts. Let's look at a few examples. 1. Social situations, I need to get in the mood for the party tonight. 2. Work or study, I listen to classical music to get in the mood for writing my reports. 3. Sports or exercise, the team is getting in the mood for the big game with a motivational speech. When using this phrase, avoid confusing it with being in a mood which can imply a persistent emotional state, often a negative one. For example, saying, I am in a bad mood, is different from, I am getting in the mood to work. In some cultures, this phrase can also imply getting ready for a romantic or intimate experience. However, it's important to use it appropriately depending on the context and the company you're in. That's all about, get in the mood. We hope this video has helped you understand this common English phrase and how to use it correctly in different situations. Remember, language learning is all about practice, so try using this phrase in your daily conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.